November the 7th, 2019. Guys, you're looking at amazing images, and this is from November 5th, and it was on an Earth-facing side of our sun from the Solar Dynamics Observatory, which is a satellite. And it's the first solar flare of the upcoming solar cycle 25. Check it out. It happened two days ago. And because it is on the Earth-facing side, we may see a uh, coronal mass ejection from this. We'll keep an eye on it, guys. It's a, not a large flare. It's a B-class, nowhere near the X flares, but uh, it's the first one, and it's from, the, again, the sunspot with the opposite polarity. First flare of solar cycle 25. Big things have small beginnings. Years from now, observers may look back from the perch of the next solar maximum and realize that it all began on November 5th, 2019, the very small solar flare. Now, this is uh, it's a B-1. It's very small. B-class flares are a thousand times weaker than an intense X flare of solar maximum. We've seen a lot of them. We, I saw one guys hit and caused the Fukushima earthquake. This small flare is nevertheless significant. It came from AR 2750, one of the first sunspots in the next solar cycle. Remember, the uh, polarity was opposite. They're also talking about a solar stream that's going to be coming in in a couple days. And as always, with you, when you have weak shields during solar minimum, you have to watch this increase in solar wind speed. And it comes through openings in the solar canopy, guys. Normally, these magnetic lines that you see looping up from the edges will capture energy and return it to the surface of the sun. But these dark areas are openings in that canopy, and it allows that stream to pour straight out. And when you're looking at solar dynamics observatory images then that's telling you it's Earth-facing, okay, because that satellite is set up to do just that. So in a couple of days, we're going to have to watch for an uptake, an uptick in quakes, and uh, we'll keep an eye on that solar flare just to see if they indicate any type of, you know, it's like a plasma wave or CME that uh, is headed our way. But just want to let you know, guys, again, we are starting to slowly turn into solar cycle 25. And when that happens in a few years from now, as far as starting to get into those middle four or five years of the peak, then things could get very interesting. Large solar flares, large coronal mass ejections, filament eruptions, things like that. We're watching it, guys. You watch it. It's a heads up. Be safe.